welcome back to our reaction to Better Call Saul. Today we're watching season three, <laughs> episode four, Sabrosito. Sabrosito. Yeah, last time on uh, Better Call Saul, we had a grand old time watching Mike disrupt, you know, the uh, Salamanca drug um, situation and also the whole Jimmy situation as well with with him getting arrested and you know <laughs> I look up the word to Sabrosito and the first thing that comes up is uh, better call Saul That's I have funny. to put in Spanish it means tasty 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 I wonder what that uh, has to do with it reminds me of um, I mean maybe maybe something have to do with Los Payos you know because uh, chicken is tasty <laughs> I want some fried chicken. It's been a while since I... We should make some. We should. You make good fried chicken. I do make good fried chicken, yeah. Mm -hmm. Give a little uh, buttermilk marinade, some pickle juice, and, uh, you know, yeah, I guess it wouldn't be a marinade. It would be a, a frying. And fried then... and tallow, not vegetable oils. You know, you know. <laughs> yes, Kaylin, her nutrition science background. <laughs> um, yeah, nice little flour and uh, panko breadcrumbs uh, coating. And then uh, cook to perfection with the temperatures. Well, you really want some fried chicken? Right homemade, now, some homemade French Sounds fries. Good. Yeah, making me hungry. We make some really crispy French fries. Uh, also, fried chicken sandwich. Big yeah. our own buns. You're still going. We've, we've done that before. Our own uh, sourdough buns. That's been fun. We like cooking. Yeah, we like cooking sabrosito uh, <laughs> food. Tasty things. Tasty things. No. Comida sabrosita. What's comida? Food. Okay. I don't know anything. <laughs> Eric. Well, guys, we're excited. <laughs> we are very excited. This is a such a fun show, and I'm I'm really excited to see how Chuck is going to respond to the fact that you know Jimmy is taking the offensive stance here. He's not bending, right? And so this is going to get even more dramatic, right? I really wonder where it's going to go because. They fight in this. If it's gotten this bad and we're halfway through the show, just think about where Breaking Bad ended. Chuck is all like, you know? Chuck is all like dignified and like resigned or like, he's like, all right, I won't push too hard. You know, mm -hmm. I'll just get my brother out of the wall mm -hmm. and then I'll be fine. But then he's gonna keep fighting, Jimmy's gonna keep fighting and then it's gonna get like It's gonna get so bad. It's gonna get so nasty. Get worse and worse. Wow, and toxic, <sighs> extremely toxic. All right. Anyway, if you like our reaction, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Leave a comment letting us know your thoughts. And if you want the next several episodes, you can get that on our Patreon, including full length uncut reactions. So go check that out. Without further ado, let us get into this episode of Better Call Saul. Bruh. Back to this guy. Flashback, right? The tones are the same. Yeah, they are. Jimenez, es un gusto conocerlo. Dime, ¿no se te ocurría escaparte con esas cosas? No, señor, yo, yo nunca. No, 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 no. no si estoy bromeando. Porque él no da una segunda oportunidad, ¿entiendes? Sí, señor. ¿Una tienda? Oh, no. ¿Una heladería en Albuquerque? Ah. Nombrada en honor a usted, el griego guiñador. ¿Qué es eso? <laughs> ¿Qué será esto? ¿Se supone que soy yo? Oh, sabrosito. Sabrosito. ¿Y está guiñando? ¿Se parece a mí? Yo no, no sé. <laughs> no, no, por supuesto que no. Porque está muy gordo, ¿verdad? Sí. Eso sí me gusta. Hey, bolsa. This guy. La chingada. The gang's all here. Me gusto verlo. Literally. John Eladio. ¿Y qué traes? No es gran cosa. Pero qué envoltura más lujosa. Una camiseta. Camiseta. Ah. Los pollos hermanos. Qué bien, bolsa. Mira, Héctor. <laughs> pollos hermanos. Huh. Yo diría los culos hermanos. <laughs> Vengan aquí. ¿Qué es esto? Wow. Oh, man. Gustavo le manda saludos. 
the rivalry. Él es un genio de la distribución. Pues quiero insistir que de ahora en adelante. Él quería venir wow. personalmente a pagarle sus respetos. Él promete que pronto lo hará. Mm -hmm. come and que kill se quede you all. Está. Y que siga haciendo lo que está haciendo. ¿Qué te parece, Héctor? Mira lo que nos dio Gustavo. ¿Eso qué? Me parece que alguien está un poco celoso. Me dice sabrosito que el de Gustavo es más grande que el tuyo. <laughs> Cut to the bone. No Cut to the así. heart. Sí, tuyo. Está bonito. Oh my gosh. He's ¿Qué pasa? Him que bonito on. no es suficiente para ti. Did he already kill Gus's? Hector, yeah. estás muy okay. serio, yeah. muy serio. Somos todos amigos aquí. This clearly happens Vamos, later. Que hay mucho business mm. que hacer en el Because norte. he was just he meeting was trying to get Gustavo business. for the first time Ahora, entonces, in that flashback. No está malo para un día de trabajo, eh? It's right there where he when he uh, killed ¿Qué him. ¿Qué estás mirando? All right. Oh wow! Busted. Because it was his truck. DEA. Yeah. DEA, my gosh. Oh no. DEA. We wouldn't see Hank, would we? Uh, it just depends on, you know, if he's like high up at all in the in the ranks, yet or not, you know. Because hmm. this is still a considerable amount of years prior. Kaylee loves her new school. The neighborhood's friendly. We she has so see. many reasons to not want to know. That's good. I know. Well, you don't have to. Ice cream. Oh, is she snoozing? Close. Ice cream. I should have let well enough alone. She scooped it. No, I don't think so. What? She scooped it and everything. Yeah. Is she just letting it melt? It's <laughs> <laughs> weird. You okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Nacho, been a minute. Oh, my. Oh, no. He's coming here. That's crazy. On to Gus's territory. Uh, is your boss here? Está? Where is he? Oh, men's room is over there on the left. So. Cabron, I need to see you a boss. Okay, well, I'm, I'm the assistant manager. The manager's actually not here today. No, the manager, the boss. You mean Mr. Free? Mr. Free. Okay. Well, he's not here at the moment. Uh, I'm sure I could help you with whatever you need. I no. need Free. Well, like I said, he's not here, uh, and I don't really know when he'll be back. I can, I can take a message. I wait. Hey, sir, if you if you don't mind, there are, there are other customers. Uh, sorry about that. Welcome to Los Hoyos Hermanos, guy. Oh, man. Uh, excuse me, sir. You can't light that in here. Sir, there's no smoking on the premises. Please, sir, look look at the signs. No fumar. You can't. That's it's a it's a health code violation. What is he playing at? He's peeing on his spot. Uh, sir, right. Like a, like a sir? he's trying to be an alpha male. Yeah. Look, everyone everyone's gonna clear out too. Uh scary. Sir. Oh. You think thanks, everyone's thanks, gonna thanks. get the idea? Thank you, Nacho. Yeah. Whew. Yeah, everyone's gonna start leaving. Dude, yeah, leave. Sir, you're not they're allowed back getting, here. They're getting the idea. I would be leaving so fast. Wow, he's just doing this out in the open. That's crazy. Gus Fring is a pillar of our local business community. <laughs> Not just for underwriting our oh, travel no. raffle, but... Is that the you. fire department? Well, uh, or... Gentlemen, yeah. ladies, uh, I, I hope to never need your services. I mean, no offense, but... I'll be right there. Showdown! <laughs> Getting spicy. Oh my gosh. They just took over the place. Oh, and all the employees. Wow. We're holding all them hostage. Dude. Oh my gosh. I want you all to go home now. You will be compensated for your full shift. No, they're not holding them hostage. Normal schedule tomorrow. It just feels that way. Yeah. They don't know what to do. Right. I guess. Go now. We are closed for today. That's so weird. They're like, what's going on? Yeah. Mr. Fring, you sure you want to be left with these guys? I'm fine, bro. You go home. Should I call someone? No. 
<laughs> Heck no, bro. Sure. Please do as I ask. Yeah, How's Lyle. Come on, Lyle. <laughs> Don't call anybody, Lyle. <laughs> He's waiting in the office. I know where he is. Gosh, I, I, you know, we've never had like a serious conversation between them besides that flashback. Don Hector. Took you long enough. Dang. Mine is a cartel business, but it is mine and it is legitimate. My employees are civilians. Your actions here today have endangered them, my interests, and those of the cartel. I am the cartel. And from now on, you are my mule. You are going to bring my product north. I understand that your supply line has been compromised. However, my trucks are already at maximum capacity. Make room. I answer to one bolsa. You want to cry to bolsa? Cry to bolsa. Or hell, Eladio. Adding more product will threaten the reliability of the entire operation. Did Don Eladio approve this? I approve this. You are doing it. Wow, he's just taking it. He's not as, uh... Well, he's probably trying to... Mm, you know, he's not as in this situation. He's trying to finesse the situation. Right, right. There's, he's outnumbered right now. Right. And I'm just saying he's not really in the position to, like, uh, argue, it seems. He was being very cordial, you know? He wasn't like, look at me, <laughs> you know? But he's plotting. Yeah. I just feel like they're not at the level yet. He's not at the level of power, mm. you know? He doesn't have the upper hand in the way that he does in the future. He's thinking about how to get it. Yeah. Oh, he's a little smirk there. He knows something. Uh -huh. hmm? Swish. What's your play, bruh? He's not mad. Hmm. He was mad for a second, and then he smiled. Well, he knows that he has become a threat. He's so successful that yeah, he's that like, there you go. The big guys come into me, right? And right. he's feeling threatened. He's whittling. He's yeah. whittling. And he's yeah. Oh my gosh, he's getting uh, he's getting him to be like uh, thrown off. You know. Wow. Ellen was square. What? No. Interesting. He just did that for his own joy. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't realize Gus is gonna keep asking like he did with Walter, you know? Cool shot. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, everyone. We haven't seen any Saul this episode yet. Or Jimmy. Come, come, come. I would like to apologize to each and every one of you who yesterday had to endure the behavior of those men. It was unacceptable. You all acquitted yourselves impeccably. If any of you wish to seek counseling due to lingering trauma, speak with me privately, and it will be arranged. Also, you will all be receiving 24 hours of overtime, as I am sure, in one way or another, each of you brought this incident home with you. Mr. Frank, uh, who were those guys? Don't ask questions. Come on, Lyle. Well, some of you know, that many years ago, I opened my first Los Pollos Hermanos in Michoacan. Those same men showed up. They wanted money. I'm ashamed to say that I paid them. Yesterday, they came here. They intimidated my customers. They threatened my employees. And again, they wanted money. I must confess that I almost gave them what they wanted. Then I thought, no, this is America. <laughs> Here, the righteous have no reason to fear. And when they saw that I had no fear of them, they ran. They will not return. Nice story. We will move on yeah. to this. He's so, like, friends, invigorated. <laughs> I promise you that together we will prosper. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love it. He gives yes, it, hi. I'm still here. Counseling and yeah. extra pay. Really? Yeah. Uh, you He's sure? A sure. Gotcha. Clean businessman. 
He does yeah. things right. I think Wednesday, <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I can barely read my own darn handwriting. She puts some in so much Hello, work. Oh, I'm calling to confirm an appointment for Charles McGill. Yes, it's 215 San Cristobal Road. Okay, I thought it was you guys. Guess I was wrong. Hi, I'm calling about an appointment for Charles McGill. Well, that's why I'm calling. <laughs> I think it's for this week, but good thing my head's attached to my neck, right? San Cristobal, that's right. Yes, that's at 2.30 tomorrow. So uh, she called we're going to need to repair cancel that. Shops. Yeah, bye. To find his appointment and cancel it. Oh, poor Frisky. What? Pomeranians can be difficult. That's right. No. <laughs> really? Thank you. How many calls did that take? I lost track. Is that it? Yeah, I'm nearly done. I'm just giving it a remorse pass. R remorse is important. Destroy property. <laughs> I tried damaged the victim's property instead of destroyed property. See if you can't get away with that. <laughs> I mean it, That's by the nice. way. What? Thank you. I better get back to it. Yeah. Absolutely sure you got the right guy for this? Oh, uh, the creme de la creme. They're so bonded. They are. They're having someone else come. Mm-hmm. Huh. What do you think that's all about? To fix the door badly or to replace the locks with locks that they, keys that they have, or I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Martin's repair. Yeah, Mr. McGill. Ah! If you don't mind wiping your shoes. Oh my gosh. The creme de la creme. It's this way. He's just used for everything. We finally get a scene between these two. Oh my gosh. Mind, mind the step here. No. Mm -hmm. Break in? That's right. Went after your copper wire from the look of it. Maybe he's going to grab something from the house. There was a time, remember, when we could leave our doors unlocked. I certainly do. Where do I plug in? You don't. No? No. Didn't you? I believe my assistant was very clear with your dispatcher. No electricity due to a condition that was explained in some detail. No problem. Good thing I charged my battery. I'd be going at it like Fred Flintstone otherwise. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I understood there would be no power tools of any kind. What, a screwdriver and a hammer? Turns a morning job into two days with me, myself, and Ben Gay. It's your call. I suppose. Very well. If you... Oh, man. This poor guy. You seem to be making fast work of it. Good. It's good. Um, okay, what I'll do, I think, is... Uh... Yeah, he's going to grab something, or I don't know. Or just irritate him. Just to get him to go upstairs. Mm -hmm. Wow. Hmm. What's the game plan here, guys? Very good. Mm. The ding always makes me think okay. of Hector. Yep, nice. At hmm. some point we should probably discuss the rule of thirds, but otherwise mm -hmm. these, uh, wow. That, a gas lantern sitting on a stack of friggin' Financial Times. Now that tells the whole story. These are museum quality. You, mm. my friend, are the Ansel Adams of covert photography. And that other thing, How'd you get it? A dress book on his desk. Right. So, what'd you think of him? I mean, speak freely, you couldn't possibly offend me. He's a bit of a prick, right? Nothing? Seriously? All right. Can't even dish the dirt with this guy. You did fix the door, right? Yeah. You did a reasonably good job of it, because he otherwise... You won't he'll... be grumbling to anyone. That's all I'm asking. Nice to fix something for once. <laughs> 
Well, if that's how you feel, I got a leaky toilet back at the office. Handyman. Hmm. Gus is back. He wants more. Yep. He's gonna have another job for him in response to this whole thing. Wow. Oh, himself. May we talk? Wow. You can park it over there. What a duo. You sent back the payment we agreed upon. What I did, I didn't do for you. The man, the one killed for helping the truck driver. If I may make an observation, perhaps you are trying to correct something which cannot be corrected. It's not the kind of thing I want to take money for. But the fact remains that your actions benefited me more than you can know. Well, it's your business. I'm just glad to have Salamanca out of my head. Hmm. He's like, that must be nice. Hmm. Well, perhaps in the future, you will consider working for me. Could be. That would depend on the work. Would you care to know why I stopped you from killing Hector? Like you said, it wasn't in your interest. A bullet to the head would have been far too humane. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Really hates him. I can't believe that their feud ends with him blowing him up. Crazy. Oh, man. What a saga. Hmm. Jimmy. Oh my gosh. Howard. Just haven't seen him in a while. Oh. Jimmy? They're what? not meeting in a courtroom? Yeah, no. So, I mean, so, these sort of like private, like it, it's not going to trial, right? So they didn't select a jury or anything. Mm. So it's just private. It's a private Howard? dispute, right? You understand? So it, it'll have like the judge there, I believe, and stuff, but um, but it's not, it's not in uh, an actual trial with the jury. So awkward. Yeah. Good afternoon. I assume everyone left their cell phones and so on at reception. Yes, indeed. And you'll let me know if you need a break or anything else. I will. Thank you, Miss Hay. Well, all right. <laughs> Let's get down. We are here to finalize the pre-prosecution diversion for James Morgan McGill. Mr. James McGill has signed a contract waiving his rights to a speedy trial and presentment of his case within the statute of limitations. The terms of the deal are for you, James, to report to your pre-prosecution service officer at the Albuquerque District Attorney's Office on the second Monday of every month for the next 12 months. Community service hours will be assigned. You must maintain lawful employment. Must only associate with law-abiding citizens. Your client understands that if he violates the terms of the agreement or is arrested for any infraction, the crimes to which he has confessed here will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law in addition to any new charges. He understands. Your confession will be referred to the New Mexico Bar Association. When will this Comments? turn? Comments? Thoughts. Actually, what do the photos have to do with it? He damaged the victim's property. Would it not be more accurate to say destroyed a cassette tape? I'm sorry, wasn't the cassette tape his property? Of course it was. Then it seems entirely accurate to say he damaged the victim's property. Why be vague? And damaged doesn't reflect its irrevocable condition. Fine. Damaged property belonging to the victim. It was a cassette tape. That's what it was. Not a teacup, not a chair. Oh, we'd suggest destroyed item of personal property. Miss Wexler? Works for us. Hmm. Shall I change it or? If you would. Can you initially, please? Charles, was there anything else you found wanting in your brother's statement? We're satisfied. We're all set? No, not all set, Mr. McGill. Your brother may be satisfied, but I am not. The confession you've written is adequate, but frankly, I, I sense a lack of remorse. And I, for one, would like to hear an apology. Charles deserves at least that uh. much. Uh, now? Yes, Mr. McGill, now. Can she demand that? I believe, I believe, I believe Okay. So. <clears throat> I was wrong. Mr. McGill, could you at least look your brother in the eye? <laughs> I don't know. He's I don't like, know are you my to mom? That extent. Yeah, I don't know. So when is this going to turn? What's going to happen? Chuck, I'm very sorry. I lost my temper and I did some things, so many things that I regret. Doesn't matter how I was provoked. I shouldn't have done that. There's no excuse for that or for the things that I said. I regret it all, all of it, more than you can imagine. On to the matter of restitution, Mr. McGill. According to your agreement, you have two weeks to pay your brother back. I would like to pay up now, if I may. You may. The amount is $321. 
I'm sorry. That figure doesn't represent a full accounting. Oh, no? I believe the correct amount is $323.98. That includes the cassette tape, which was destroyed. Good. Thank you. $323.98, including the cassette tape. I'm confused. I thought they were fighting it. I, yeah. They, I they love, they love hoodwinking us, Same you know? Home. They love putting things Howard, underneath Chuck. the table. I'm you putting know? you both on notice regarding the bar hearing. First thing, I'm filing a motion to suppress that tape. The tape that Jimmy destroyed, you mean? How about we stop with the games? There's no way there isn't a duplicate. Really? Of course there is. You knew Jimmy was gonna break in. You wanted him to. There's no way you were gonna let him destroy the only copy of that tape, so you made a duplicate. It's the first thing you did. Kim, this is not how we do discovery. Actually, Jimmy destroyed the duplicate. Uh, it's fine, Howard. The original is under lock and key, and in due time, it will be put into evidence for wow. a few. File whatever motions you'd like. It's your privilege. I will. Count on it. But, Kim, you should be aware, because I believe this will be your first disciplinary hearing, the Bar Association standard of proof is far more lenient than what you're used to. That tape will be played. Chuck? Wow. <laughs> Going to war, but I don't know how. Did they already get the second tape? I don't. Is that well, what he did? That must be what. What? Mike did. Bingo. I don't know. I don't understand. Hmm. Interesting. I don't understand. They maybe they were finding out for sure that there was a copy. What was the point of what Mike did? They haven't revealed that yet. He took photos. Yeah. Kind of the door. <laughs> Very interesting. Very interesting. Good episode. I love what they're setting up with Mike and Gus, that that relationship is being established. And we're getting so much more from Gus uh, than I, I thought when I heard he was going to be in the show, like in a comment or something, I assumed that it was going to be like maybe one episode mm -hmm. as like a special guest. Mm -hmm. Not that he was going to be... We're getting a lot of uh, performance from him. I know. Well, we're getting like, because he only shows up every few every few episodes in, you know, Breaking Bad. So he's a little less um, elusive in this show. Yeah, we're seeing more of the of the man, you know, not the boss. Which you like that, don't you? Because you always wanted more Gus. I did want more Gus. <laughs> I wanted more. I felt like he as a character was not not that he needed to be fleshed out more, but just that he it would have been good, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. It would have been good. That was something that I w left me wanting, wanting more. That showdown was uh, intense. Yeah, when he was picking the poop off of his. I think it was gum. You think it was gum? Yeah. I thought it was like dried, dried scat or something. I wonder how he gets, you know, his uh, his issue and yeah. when. Like I when know. will that arise? Because it's got to ha like he must decline pretty quickly. I wonder if it na is naturally occurring or if like something happens to him in this mm. feud. See what I'm saying? I wonder if that's part of it. Maybe he gets like paralyzed or something. No. Well, he has trouble talking. Yeah. Um, but yeah, maybe he's poisoned or I don't know. You know, it doesn't kill him, but it injures him or something. Yeah. He has It'll a stroke. Be, I wonder if or, they'll show us. Yeah. I feel like maybe. They have to, right? Because yeah. this whole point, the whole I feel like I'm discovering how much of the point of this is just bridging, like giving giving the overall backstory of the whole of the whole thing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like of all of the situation. Like I wonder if we'll ever, you know, that we now that we have Gus in here, like we'll get into the whole magical stuff. You know what I mean? Like the mm -hmm. whole Germany company. Like, are we ever going to get back into that? You know, are we going to see yeah. Lydia again? Right? Because Mike knew Lydia. Mm. Right? So I wonder if she'll come back. Every character comes back except for, for Walter and Jesse. You know? <laughs> like. Yeah, I can't tell exactly where they're going with the uh, with the lawyer stuff. Yeah. There's a plan. There's a plan. They're hatching a plan. Yeah. That's for sure. And they seem to be happy with it. It has to do with pictures. How things are going. And she's totally on, on his side. 100%. Mm -hmm. she's moved past the whole, like, if you get in trouble, you know, that's on me and stuff like that, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's just like Bonnie and Clyde. They're cemented. Well, that was fun. Hope you enjoyed watching with us, guys. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment letting us know what you thought of our thought and uh, this episode. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And if you want the next several episodes and full-length uncut reactions, you can grab that over on our Patreon. So go click the link and we will see you in the next one. We'll see you then.